your girl LB back again with another banger. And today's video that we will be watching is another Mr. Beast video. Yeah, it's $1 versus $250,000 vacation. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'd be damned if I do a $1 vacation. We do a B.I.G. Large and in charge. Anyway, this video is 16 minutes long and six seconds. I know. Lock it in. Y'all stay in here with me. Let's get into it. In this video, we're going on a $250,000. That looks nice. I'm not going to hold this. This is beautiful. How is this real? That looks terrifying. <laughs> and I'm going to show you the difference between this and a $100,000 presidential vacation. Right this way, sir. Okay. A $50,000 vacation where we have the Eiffel Tower completely to ourselves. For only, only 50 bands? All the way down to this $1 vacation. Right over here, boys. This shack is our vacation. You can see inside of it. There's no walls, Jimmy. Well, I mean, there's walls. This is gross. And in case you don't mm. believe me, it's a dollar. Look at that. Oh, it's 93 cents. You're wow. a liar. I rounded up to a dollar. Wow. For one dollar, we get this bed, which is honestly just a mattress sitting on wood planks. A broken cabinet. Where is this at? That sort of works. Oh, look at that. And lastly, random noises coming from your ceiling. I was hearing noise in the room. There's people there's on top. There's a raccoon on our roof. Oh. I feel like most people oh. would be mad if their hotel room had a raccoon. But for some reason, we're happy. When's Absolutely not. Nope. No, no, take me home. Check out time tomorrow. Uh, Keep in mind that later in this video, we're going on a hundred thousand dollar vacation, a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar vacation. Can we just jump cut to that already? Yeah, no, because we got to suffer so they can compare our suffering to our happiness. They Gosh, do like dang when it. we suffer. Are no. we all supposed to fit on the single bed? If we wanted four beds, that'd be four dollars. First, let's get all the sand. Wait. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just no. Here. Take me home. Like a, a <laughs> Up next, a vacation that's 10,000 times more expensive. Welcome okay. to the $10,000 a night vacation. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is sick. Wait, that what looks the heck good. This is how we have jellyfish. Okay, that's so unnecessary. Uh, that's a little oh, overkill. A pool it's a private pool. Does Ooh. this not look like a scene from a movie? Your hotel room walks out to the beach. Wow. That is this our own private beach? Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Drink, since Looks when is so water pretty. Blue? I don't know. This all inclusive Where is this? also has a giant spa. Oh, yeah. A park filled with flamingos. Oh, they're fighting. Oh. Square up. And unlimited room service. Okay, what do you need? All of it. <laughs> the yeah, only right. negative of this place is it doesn't have a raccoon. Hey, little guy. We. But I don't blame them for that. Jimmy, what? we don't care about the raccoon, man. Come on now. You're in a $10,000 suite place is it doesn't have a raccoon hey little guy but i don't that thing didn't that. want to be our friend ten thousand dollars at this resort we each get our own floor of the building oh. it's exactly like jimmy's except for i got the top floor oh i have a hammock i think i can make it in the hammock without getting wet <laughs> i did it no you didn't do it chris Yo, look at your view chris hey wow i caught it three two one hey He's gonna right, throw it too far. I knew it. Rule number one. Yeah. No more throwing pillows in my pool. Rule great, number two. Great rule. Sorry, Tariq. And now what the hotel is known for. This insane infinity pool that extends over our Look own at that. personal beach. How does the water just not overflow? I have so many questions. Get in it. I feel like a father that took his kids on vacation and is just watching them hang out in the pool. That would be like something that I'd do. The ten thousand dollar vacation has been just insane, but not as insane sit as and our relax. next vacation all the way across the planet. Petty. And now the fifty thousand dollar vacation. Fifty in bands Paris. is a little crazy. Baguettes. Our fifty thousand dollar vacation starts with a completely private luxury ferry ride. What is that? That's the engine. Bro, what is this, 1805? That costs the, oh, that's $4,000. Hey! <laughs> they went back. I think they know. YouTube channel? <laughs> I, I don't think nope. he speaks English. This nope. vacation comes complete with fantastic food, Ooh. a tour of the Ooh. entire city. Ooh. Can't stand frog legs. I'm not even gonna rewind it, but if I, I'm telling y'all, I cannot stand frog legs. That's disgusting. All right. And a luxury hotel room with an amazing view. This is kind of romantic. <gasps> of the yeah. Eiffel and Tower. And lastly, we have a very expensive surprise. So you guys are probably wondering. It's a fifty thousand dollar vacation, and we clearly haven't spent fifty grand yet. Yeah. Nope. Where, where is it? It's behind you. What do you That's mean? the Eiffel Tower. 
Yes. We have the entire Eiffel Tower completely to ourselves. Wait, actually? Yeah. What portion of the 50 grand was the tower? Almost all of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are at the Eiffel Tower. This feels like we're sneaking in. No, I'm not joking. It's ours. No one else is here. We can just go straight through the line. This feels illegal. Oh, nice. Most of the time, this place is packed with people. And because we have the whole thing completely to ourselves, we're going to try to get to the top of the tower. Ooh. I'm talking the very top. I kind of want to go to the top of around. the Eiffel Tower. Let's head up. On the way up, we stopped at the first floor, over 187 feet in the air. Well, yeah, I'm not looking over at the over. to ourselves. I love how even though we have the entire Eiffel Tower, they still put us in a corner of the restaurant. Yeah, that's a little insane. That's the elevator coming from the top of the Eiffel Tower. That looks terrifying. Open it really me. does. Thank you. I can see my house from up here. We're in France. I can see my hotel from up here. <laughs> Look how high up we are. Oh, my ears are popping. What are my we ears are popping. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You can see the whole city from here. Dude, this is crazy. Tree. Look how much higher we have to go. Oh, Bro, no. This is never going to end. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were already at the top. No. We're going up. You got to be now in there for like 10 minutes. Top. At one point, this was the tallest building in the world. Should I jump right now? No. Do not move. Not intrusive on, thoughts. Boys. Follow me. From here on out, there's no more elevators, just stairs. Oh, it's windy up here. We are high up there. Oh, oh, oh man. My God. No shit, it's windy, though. It's oh, like my God. you're a million feet above Dude, that jump, ground. Jump, jump. We are standing over 900 feet in the air. The highest point civilians are I might have been wrong. Tower. But since it's ours for the night, I had one last surprise. What do you think's behind this door? Stairs. I should, did I... How'd you know? We can see the stairs. I'm oh, dead. yes, there are more stairs, but this takes us to the very top where no one's allowed to go. Oh my God. That's dangerous. Oh my gosh. Bro. Oh my God. Are we allowed on that? I don't know. How do you say oh, I don't know? That is scary. The ledge just comes up to my waist up here. I am holding on for dear life. I completely understand why tourists are not allowed up here. Yeah, <laughs> someone can have some intrusive the thoughts and just zoomed in on us. <laughs> He's over a mile away. If this lens is good enough, you should be able to see us waving. For a fifty thousand dollar vacation, you gotta admit this is cool. This is amazing. That's so freaking crazy. crazy. Are you ready for the best moment yet? I don't know why a YouTuber has this much power, but lights. <gasps> <gasps> Oh my gosh! I feel like I would like because being like where the lights are. Man's gonna work, but turn every light off. It's pitch black. The Eiffel Tower went dark. What are these millions of French people thinking right now? Who the fuck is up there? They should get me off this tower. I don't know why they gave you me should, this much control. You should probably get Next, off of it. Next, we head to Switzerland for the $100,000 vacation. Switzerland? But this is no ordinary vacation. This hotel has two inch it's called the president windows, a panic button that will lock down the entire building and is riddled with security because this is a hotel where world leaders and presidents take their vacation. And also the side men were in town, so I decided to invite them as well. Whoa. Oh my God. The side like men? Oh. What? This Golly. Is this is the most expensive penthouse suite in all of Europe. It covers the whole eighth floor and has dozens of rooms, tons of staff waiting on you all day and night and absolutely crazy for Oh my God. Oh, oh yeah. How do these guys what compare is to that? normal guests? Yeah. So you'd say they're pretty dumb compared to <laughs> And like I said before, some of the most powerful world leaders choose this place for their vacations. Even Bill Clinton stayed here and he wasn't assassinated. It's pretty safe. What? There is security here. You have the bulletproof windows. Even this? This is bulletproof? Oh my. It feels thick. Why is everybody oh, just knocking on it? That I just. Hope. I'm a president. Yeah, like, they're knocking on it like they thought that them knocking on it would crack the glass. What? Snipers that we can put on the rooftop. You have your own sniper? <laughs> <laughs> Are you able to negotiate on behalf of the sidemen? I can try my best. Yes, uh, this will help me in my negotiation. I'd like to buy 10%. How much, boys? No, you, go, you say. 200 million, Jimmy. 200 million. Golly. All right, to the panic button. <laughs> to the panic button. I'm not going to lie. I've been waiting to press this button since we got here. Don't. We all agree this is a good idea. No, no, no. No. Carl, you're Bill Clinton and you feel threatened. Press the panic button. All right, he pressed it. Oh, wait, I see a door closed. Wait, are we locked in? Is it locked? Are you guys in there? Is that Nolan? Yeah. The door's like shut. I walked off for one second. Wow. Which button uh, opens it? 
You don't get to panic and then open. <laughs> right. They should push the button now. The priest will come, and there's a big fine. Don't press it again. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking, how would a president get somewhere like McDonald's? Let's see how presidents travel. Come on in. It turns out when you're the president, too many people in the elevator. Oh, get out. So that means when you drive. Oh, we got like a oh, motorcade. Oh, so how do we know which car to get into? And the third on the fourth? Ideally, the third or fourth, he said. Which car is the most dangerous? The first one. Nolan, you should ride in the first one. I can do that. That's okay. kind of <laughs> shitty. Who wants to ride with me? Harry, come on in. Harry Chandler. I'm sure the president doesn't sit in the middle. Typically, you guys would be my bodyguards, but, you know, you'll suffice. Just squeeze in, mate. Squeeze in. What president is going to McDonald's? Does your window roll down? Hey, how's it going? Oh, now I'm going to get a shot. Oh, now I'm going to no. get a shot. Oh, yeah, really he's smart. It. This is nice. Turns out when you travel in a presidential motorcade, a lot of people start to notice you. How's it going? <laughs> this is bonkers. Yeah. Oh, we're just drawing the attention of everyone. People are filming like with the president. This is weird. Which made McDonald's a little awkward. <laughs> Jesus. <Jeez, sir. laughs> <laughs> He's looking like, who the fuck? Don't mind our security. Jimmy, does this beat out the Eiffel Tower for you? Depends how good these nuggets are. Obviously, all the vacations so far have been amazing, but they pale in comparison to this next one. Our huh. final vacation is once again all the way across the planet. Where is and it? now we're in Japan for the $250,000 vacation. Ooh. And we're meeting up What do y'all think they're going to do? Hmm? Comment it now. Y'all got time. It's about to be nine minutes. No, it's about to be six minutes of just whatever this is about to be. Hmm. The special guest here, so you're gonna want to watch to the end. To start off our vacation, we dropped off our bags at the most expensive hotel in all of Japan. This is How gigantic. much did it cost? In a hotel. Oh my god. And afterwards, we felt like getting to know the city of Tokyo. Now we're gonna drive Mario Karts on the street. <laughs> I wanna do that so we bad. We private Mario Karts where we literally get to drive on the streets of Japan. People are just staring at us. Kind of want to do that at like night time. Do they do that at night? Right beside me. Well, look how many people are crossing the street here. This is the busiest cross rock in the world, and we're driving right. He said through. cross rock. Oh, I heard that. Bro, I love Japan. This place is crazy. When we arrived at our next destination, we met with Master Swordman Yoshioki Somita. He's been training with the katana for the last 26 years. Oh my years, gosh. And he actually agreed to give us a rare lesson in the art of the samurai. We each got our own katanas, and the lessons began with swinging techniques. It was not as easy. Chris as is thought. focused. Look at her. Oh! No! And no, fucked it up. Gonna zoom in on it. Then it was yeah. my turn. Boys, do you think I'm gonna be able to do this? Yeah. Probably yeah. not. You got it. Oh! Yay, Yay Jimmy! Hey. Let's see how the boys do. Come on, Chandler. Okay. Whoa. I really wanted Chandler Ooh, to get it. I? I don't know. And then our samurai teacher gifted us this insane katana. I don't deserve this, but thank you. And because this is a quarter million dollar vacation, we rented out the most premium sushi chef in the world, along with this hmm. entire floating restaurant. They got Louis Vuitton oh coasters. Oh, damn. The chef damn. makes all the food right next to our table. And getting to see a master at work was one of the coolest dining experiences ever. Oysters. <laughs> Mm, wow. Oh, 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 nasty. Next time we can feed the birds tuna. Here you go, little man. What? See how we caught him in air? Tuna's Once nasty. We paid the bill. Thank you. <laughs> we were off to the craziest place I've ever been. All right, follow me. I rented this whole place. But before we see it, socks off. This is basically oh, an art museum. The sensory for place. Experience. Oh, wow. <gasps> I want to go way. there. That's in Japan. Hard time processing it. Do you think this is what it looks like when you die? Probably. Mm. What is this next oh row? <gasps> Normally, this place uh. is completely full of other people, but we secured the place entirely for ourselves. How this much? might be one of the best things we've ever done. Dude, that is crazy. Imagine going fish? in there, suited. We're in a pool in a museum playing with animated fish. This is the most unique animated thing fish. you could ever do on a vacation. Wait, the fish are surrounding us. Look. How did they know to surround us? They love us. They're mm. going everywhere now. Now you're all probably hungry, which is why we're at this restaurant that is ran by robots. What? My name is Pepper. Can we have a seat, Hi, Pepper? Pepper. Sure. Let's find a comfortable spot. We reserved the entire place, so the uh, only other people here were the robot waiters. Food robots here. Wait, so the food is delivered on a robot? An oddly fluffy robot. Pepper's staring really hard at the Chandler for some reason. Pepper does not like Chandler. Bro, I didn't know <laughs> <laughs> 
Everyone, make sure you eat tons of food, because tomorrow I rented an entire theme park, and PewDiePie's gonna be there. Which is really crazy. That's you why see, I was so PewDiePie expensive. and I have a long history, Mr. Beast. I was wondering when you would show up. I'm dead. <laughs> we helped him in his subscriber race against T-Series. Grab your phone, go on YouTube, search PewDiePie, and subscribe to him. Eventually, we even caught up to him. Mr. Beast has taken over me in subscribers. I guess I'm getting a taste of my own medicine. Damn. That's all right. He definitely deserves it. And even though we've been friends for a while, We've never actually met in person. And because what? this is such a long way to meet up. I rented this entire amusement park. This That's why it was so expensive. Island, the park with the scariest rides in all of Japan. Uh, Jimmy, quick question. Uh, I, I'm sorry, maybe not Jimmy. Tariq, whoever edits. Well, Tariq is the videographer. Why, for the $250,000 one, did you not, like, add the amounts? Like, the rest of them, you added the amounts. This one, you didn't. Why not? I wanted to know how each and every one of them cost it. Maybe I wanted to do one of them. We actually met in person. And because this is such a long way to meet up. I rented this entire amusement park. This like it's been Uchi 250 Island, this whole time. The scariest rides in all of Japan. It usually has thousands of people waiting in line. But as per usual, I rented the entire thing just for us. You can ride whatever that sounds ride you so want. I wasn't He's done, gone. he left. I'm about to go on this entire roller coaster alone. What you're seeing that here sounds, is the that looks terrifying. Drop in the world. Are you scared? Uh, yes. Have fun. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> I'm scared for him. I'm scared for him. And like promised, the father of YouTube, PewDiePie, met us in the yeah. park. A little later than I don't know who PewDiePie is. I texted him the wrong day. Sorry, Felix. And he wanted to ride the craziest coaster at the park. Why are you scared? I'm so scared of roller coasters. This one, this one doesn't spin at all. I'll ride it if Felix rides it. Let's go! I'm, I'm dead. Is Felix <laughs> PewDiePie? I'll do it. I'll do it. If I die on this roller coaster, you guys are going to feel terrible. You're not going to die. Out. Anything that could fly out. That's how you know it's bad. That's they don't even trust us with shoes on this ride. You got this. You'll be fine. They make you put them in a locker. This they is not playing. I'm scared. I don't want to do this. Don't do it. Come down. Don't do it! Oh. Whatever you do, don't throw up. Don't I do it. it. Can we pick a better one? We yeah. It's a nice, comfortable ride. I actually have no idea what it is. At some point, there is a literal 90 degree drop. That's great. You're freaking me out. <laughs> what did you sign me up for? Why you did they both, like, here. they both just met each other and are getting on this one of the scariest rides in the country. That don't make sense, but, you know. <laughs> But what we didn't know was... Wait, no! It goes backwards! Goes hey, backwards. Even worse. Backwards? Even worse. Chandler didn't get on. Smart. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, oh, it's flipping around. Oh my god, we're upside down! The things flip. They flip! Oh, no, no. Now, I love roller coasters. Don't get me wrong, I love roller coasters. Me on this? Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh my God, Felix, what did we just do? I'm crying. I don't know. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Well, it's good meeting you, Jamie. I'm gonna head out. Yeah. We screamed at the first little bump. Because y'all thought y'all was gonna plummet. Ooh. Y'all know. Y'all know I'd be here for the food. Food. Had a chewy potato before. Oh, what did you get for passing me? What you <laughs> uh, Felix, I'm sorry for passing you. You don't have to threaten me with violence, though. So. Y'all yeah, just both that swinging was at each other. $250,000 vacation. Felix, can you transition us? Bro, fast. <laughs> Controversial. My favorite one was the $10,000 villa like type room that one seemed very relaxing the two hundred fifty thousand dollar one kind of seemed like a little much especially that ride i'd probably never get on maybe i'd do it like a food experience at whatever that amusement park was but like that ride riding those rides oh no and i like riding rides no 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 Nah, I'd be damned if I have a $1 vacation though, especially with a random ass raccoon. What did you guys think? Make sure you comment down below because you know I want to know. And if you liked today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment, share, ring that bell button so you never miss a video. Duh, join the Discord, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, something. But also make sure to obliterate that subscribe button because if you're not subscribed to the LB crew, what are you doing? Make sure y'all smash it and I'll see y'all next video. Bye.